Hi, I'm Laura from Meadowlark Violin, and today I'm going to tell you how to have a straight bow while you're playing violin. If you like these videos, remember to like and subscribe and check out my website, meadowlarkviolin.com, for more great resources on the violin. So what is a straight bow, and why is it so important on the violin? Well, on the violin, you always want your bow to be parallel with the bridge. And you want it to be right in between the bridge and the fingerboard, for starting off at least. Now if the violin, if the bow is ever at an angle, you'll see how part of the hair's closer to the bridge and the other part's not. And you're going to get screechy, not pleasant sounds, right? Whether it's at any angle. So the one thing to remember when you're doing this is you can't trust your eyes. If you're just trying to look over and see if the bow is straight, it's not going to work. For instance, I'm looking over right now. That actually looks pretty straight to me, but if I look, I can tell it's at a huge angle actually, and it doesn't look that bad at all when I'm looking over. So the way you have to practice this is to look in a mirror. And when you're practicing in front of a mirror, you want to adjust your body to where you're seeing just that top line of the bridge. If you're seeing the sides, it's not going to give you accurate information. You can't really tell if you're straight or not. But if you can see just that top line, then you can really compare your bow and see if it's at an angle. So the way to practice when you're practicing in front of a mirror is to start off right in the middle of the bow. This is the easiest place to get straight bows. And you want to try very, very, very small bows first. Don't try to use your whole bow and see if it's straight, because uh, there's a lot that can go wrong when you're using your whole bow. But get used to small bows, get that muscle memory, and then you can make long, longer and longer bows and constantly see if it's straight and make the adjustments that you need to here. And try looking in a mirror, then looking away and seeing if you can just get a straight bow just by that muscle memory, and then looking back at the mirror and double checking. Now, if you've got small children, this is kind of a tricky uh, exercise to do, getting them to play in front of a mirror. So another really good exercise if you have children that you're teaching to play the violin is to do something called buddy bowing. So you'll have the child hold the violin bow normally and put the violin bow on the string, and then the parent or the adult will take the violin bow and pinch it kind of right here in the middle and guide it and make sure it's straight and then take it away, let the child do it on their own, and then double check. Of course, you can do this as an adult too. It's get someone to help you, and that's another way to help get that muscle memory to feel what it feels like to have a straight bow. And you'll see a lot of products out there uh, to help you have a straight bow. These contraptions you put on your violin that supposedly keep your bow straight, or some people use straws or folded paper that you put in there. And I'm not a huge fan of these because students often just focus on not hitting the straws, or not hitting the paper, and they're not actually thinking about what it takes to make a straight bow and the muscle memory that needs to develop. So the best thing you can do is to practice in a mirror. You're getting all the information you need if you're watching yourself and constantly making those adjustments. If you're practicing this way and you're still struggling to keep your bow hold, it might have something to do with the way you're holding the violin or the way you're holding the bow. And I've noticed a lot of common things that students do that make it nearly impossible for them to get a straight bow. So if you're having that problem, then check out my video on common problems with getting your bow straight. I'm Laura from Meadowlark Violin. Happy practicing.